Do not mistake this to mean your studies will be easy. The Academy prides itself on the quality of its graduates compared to other institutes of learning, and providing your familiarity with starlight manipulation principles will be needed for your tome to allow further access into the Archive's educational materials. We all wish you good luck on your journey, the faculty and the staff of the Academy of the Astral. Okay. Shit, I was not expecting that. Um, Academy Shrines. I'm guessing that's what this is, right? This is a shrine of some... Well, hey, I was right, it's a shrine. I, I didn't think it was a shrine to a school, but a shrine is a shrine. Um, hopefully nothing kills me while I'm reading. I don't know where that wolfman's gonna go, but it better be as far away from here as fucking possible. But yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's read more on this, shall we? <coughs> <coughs> Areas determined by the Academy to be conductive to field studies have had shrines built in them. These consist of two variants, larger and more elaborate shrines that contain crystals useful for starlight manipulation, and smaller shrines that are useful to smaller innate study, innate study groups. Sorry. Both types include chests with study supplies inside, though the exact contents... Why did I say that weird? Contents may change based on the initiates who... La used that location last. Fuck, why is it so hard to read this? The larger shrines are usually located in areas free of treetops, such as deserts and colder mountain tops. The larger shrines contain sample collector crystals useful for gathering and manipulating starlight. Each has an attunement to one of the five constellations of the bright classification in order to be most beneficial to newer in initiates in the beginning of their studies. While flawless specimens in their own rights, these crystals are crafted are crafted from refined but not pure bases, and so should not be expected to provide the same starlight energy levels available to practiced crystal crafters who have highly refined their craft. These crystals cannot be enhanced in their performance due to the same issue. Special wards have been placed to prevent initiates from carrying off or modifying these study tools to maintain the availability for all initiates in a region. The Academy reminds all initiates that starlight cannot penetrate opaque, solid materials, while the Academy will install a roofed covering to protect the study areas against inclement weather and hostile creatures should the Academy need to close. Removal of this roofing is necessary for the collection of starlight if the crystal within is to be in use for learning activities. Okay, this is an awful lot of reading and not enough connecting with the stars for my liking. Constellation papers, astral tone. Yeah, I already crafted you. What do you want? Um, inside the chests of Academy Shrines, there can be found study aids in the form of parchments. These parchments are attuned to the existing Academy archives and will reveal knowledge of an additional constellation to the user when first viewed, as long as their records show sufficient understanding of starlight manipulation concepts. So considering I come from the stars, I'd, I'd hope I'd already be quite high up in that ranking, but apparently not. Due to this, duplicate records will not be generated for any given initiate. Excess study material should be left behind for other initiates. These papers can be stored within the tome. Oh! How? Uh, for future reference, by opening the tome when, while holding shift. Okay, you know what? I just got ratioed by a book. You know what? Fair enough. In the event an initiate would be so irresponsible as to lose their papers, the Academy will not be reissu reissuing these materials. Instead, the initiate may borrow a copy from another initiate or recreate them once they have access to a sufficiently advanced crafting altar to properly infuse the constellation knowledge back into parchment. A relatively small cost for such a large lapse of judgment. Thanks to transport. <sighs> I'm starting to see why I didn't do well in school. Thanks to transposition magic, however, papers stored in the Initiate's Tome will remain accessible even if the Tome were to be replaced. Okay, so if I hold shift and right click the book, I can put my fucking tomes in here. So there's the Tome of Dis Discidia and shit. Can I use this as a default just- no, okay. I thought I was being clever then, I thought I could use this as like an extra chest space, but nah. The world would not be that kind to me. Uh, Vicio, Vicio, whatever you want to say, fucking Avatas, uh, Armana, I wonder if these are like, Armara, I mean, I wonder if these are actual constellations, and 
Ivariso. Evosio. Evariso. I don't fucking care. It's just... It's star name. Star name. Fuck it. There we go. Star name. Right. Um... Ors, I know about all of this. How do I make a resonating wand? Okay. While the floating crystals in the shrines will spill some of their internal starlight onto nearby crafting tables thanks to the Academy's wards, other crystals will not. As this behavior is also fairly wasteful and magically messy, it will not suffice for more delicate crafting. One of the first tools any initiate should obtain is a wand that will allow them to... I am so sorry. It allowed them to control the release of starlight energies from starlight-sensitive devices and crafting implements by right-clicking them. Uh, due to its sensitivity to gathered starlight energies, the wand can be used at night to determine areas of conflicting starlight resonance. The vibrations of this wand when exposed to open starlight at night reveal areas deep underground where contained starlight energies are contained by a crystal. These things reveal crystals. The revealed areas appear as almost smoky areas of starlight displacement above the ground. One final use of a resonating wand is that attempting to activate a starlight device that requires a supporting structure built around it will alert the wielder when the supporting structure is incorrect. Due to the disruptions in flowing starlight, missing or misplaced portions of the structure will be visually highlighted, allowing for rapid troubleshooting in the construction of these structures. So basically, it's fucking, it's a wrench. It's, it's a multi-block wrench. So I need marble, ender pearl, and aquamarine. Right, gotcha. I should probably finish my, finish my base first. And that's totally not an excuse, because I don't have an ender pearl. <laughs> um, right, yeah, let's, let's finish the base first. One, two, and the perimeter is done! I have finished the perimeter of the base. As you can tell, this circle is going to do very... very well at keeping the mobs out. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Oh, come on, can I not sleep yet? Fine, whatever. Do I have an ender pearl? Now, on the one hand, I could do this, you know, the, the non-cheesy way, and I could... Wait for an enderman to spawn, and I could challenge it with my full iron armor and my diamond sword. Or I could take my waystone back to the shit shack. <laughs> and I could just steal an ender pearl. <laughs> because I know we've got some lying around. Well, I mean, we've got an ender pearl fragment. We don't have four, but actually, yeah, I was about to say we don't have four of, four of them, but we don't need four of them. We have, we have a condenser, and this thing has EMC, so I can just do that. One, two, three, and then I can chuck the rest in here. And then I can make us an ender pearl. Why? I said I can make us an ender pearl. There we go. Uh, and then I can hop back to... Uh, astral temple. I can hop back to the astral temple. Uh, and I can craft the wand. I don't have any marble, do I? Fuck's sake. I know I had some back at the shit check, but I don't want to just keep relying on, you know, my resources to act as my resources. I want to go out and get some more. And since I know that there's a perfectly good temple over here that I don't plan on using, fuck it, let's just go cannibalize this one. I think I've already taken the parchment from it, so, you know. Taking um, taking the marble won't exactly do any more harm. Alright. I don't actually remember if I have looted this one or not, to be honest. But judging by the waystone that is both unactive and just in the middle of nowhere, I don't think I have. This is um, mildly concerning. I'm just gonna remove this, um, I need to talk to Ruby about this, this is the second one we found. Usually these things only spawn on the podiums, to find one out in the wilderness like this, especially an undiscovered one, usually means that someone else had to put it down. I don't know what they're doing this far out, 
considering that I've only just come this far out, but it's entirely possible the guy I crashed with put this here. And as much as it's kind of a dick move, I don't want him having the ability to just teleport anywhere, especially when it's very close to my new base. So I'm just gonna just br break them whenever I see them. Just don't let the guy or girl, I suppose, have a, a, a teleporting system. I don't know what gender they are. I never asked Dr. Phil. What did I ask Dr. Phil? I don't remember. Oh well, just this person. I don't want to give this person a means to teleport around. That's dangerous. <sighs> I kind of feel bad that I'm treating him like a threat. Treating them like a threat. Ah, fuck it. It's not like anyone's here to correct me. I, I, <sighs> I feel bad for treating him like a threat. I mean, I don't know if he's a threat. All I know is that he crashed with me, but... It's this gut feeling, I guess. This instinctual dislike. I don't even know what he looks like. Just this shadowy figure at the back of my mind. But I don't trust him. Whoever they are, I don't I don't trust them. Not in the slightest. Either way, let's get this marble. <laughs> um yeah. Let's 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 get this marble. Um <laughs> That was kinda dark. Right. Yeah, it still looks Temple-y. Kinda. Yeah, it's fine. I'm surprised there was no chest, though. I'm pretty sure the book said that there was always going to be a chest under there for me to take parchments from. And the fact that there isn't is kind of insulting. Alright. Let's get this wand made. I have no idea what the wand's actually going to do um, for me, considering I've already found a crystal, but considering it's basically step one of the book, I don't really want to skip any steps. I think this is how it was made, right? Or was it this? Yeah, it was that. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of something. The shape of it, at least. It looks familiar. I don't think I ever carried one of these. Or at least if I did, it wasn't like this, but... It feels familiar. Anyway, I need to stop... <laughs> I need to stop doing that. Ever since I got some of my memories back, I've been finding myself stuck in my own head a lot. I, I came out here to clear my head, so I need to stop thinking for a while. Um, anyway, we made the wand. What's next is the luminous crafting table. The purity of starlight easily realigns the contents of materials into a more ordered state for their intended purpose. By placing a crafting table near an ac academy shrine's collector crystal, its wards will direct starlight to transmute the crafting table into a crafting instrument more suited to an initiate of the stars. Made of the purest marble, this entry-level altar table can cleanly absorb starlight energy from the sky, or a linked collector crystal, and redirect the magical energy into the crafting materials laid in it instead of relying on a constant, magically messy flood of power. In order to capture starlight on its own, this table needs an unobstructed view of the sky directly above. It also lacks the required matrix that a collector crystal possesses to gather starlight efficiently, and due to this is unable to compensate for atmospheric diffusion of starlight energy. Measurements by the Academy's Indicates... Indicate? Whatever. Academy Indicate Sea Level is roughly the midpoint in diffusion losses, with bedrock showing nearly full diffusion loss of the energies. Atmospheric diffusion losses disappear at around twice the distance from bedrock as sea level itself. I'm guessing that means the higher the thing is, the stronger it is or something. Right. If the table is above the atmospheric diffusion height or other factors make raising the table higher are infeasible, relocating the table to another location in the world would be recommended. Starlight energies are not uniformly distributed from the heavens, and there are areas of the world with far more concentrated starlight energies available than others. Thankfully, a recurrence of Incarian famine has not repeated, and survey teams have not recorded instances in modern times of locations with almost no exposure to starlight energies over large areas. 
Once the items needed as ingredients for the crafting recipe are laid out within the table, right clicking the table with a resonating one will release the reservoir, flooding the ingredients with starlight power. Yada 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 yada. Star shit.